Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the cone, which I have to say is probably the most versatile in terms of offensive and defensive measures. Now I'm going to go over a couple of different ones in this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. One thing I do want to mention about the cone is the absolute huge reach it does have. As you can see here, if I just jump, I can hit a three-story high ramp. And if I'm actually standing on top of a cone, I don't even need to jump to reach it. And here I'm over a block and a half away and I can still hit a cone to stop them from ramping. Now, what I really like about this is the fact that if I'm ramping up next to somebody who's two stories higher than me, all I have to do is jump and I can cone them. What's great about this is at this point you can then ramp up and if you are in a build fight, you can easily catch up to your opponent and possibly even be able to take height from them from something like that. Nowadays, getting a cone trap kill is far and few between because for the most part, players will end up building up with a floor wall ramp and when you go to cone somebody, you can't because you're either blocked out from the bottom because of the floor or in this situation, you're blocked out because of the wall. However, an easy way to kind of slow down your opponent is to place a cone right here. Now, what's great about this is the fact that your player can't continue to ramp. Now, this is a couple things that they can do, such as building a wall and then flooring, or another way is just continuing the ramp out on the other side of the cone. However, as I'll show you, both of these are kind of flawed because if you just edit out the cone like this, their entire build will come crumbling down, and that way you can easily make a high ground retake. Now we're going to go over a couple different ways cones can protect you, just that extra mile. Now, for example, if you're ramping up like this, one thing you can do is place a wall behind you and a cone and then continue ramping. And what this does is this will stop somebody who's just simply following you up, which a normal cone behind you would do, but this makes them have to go up a level. And then they have this cone here to deal with as well, so they're going to have to go up another level. And by this point, you're already long gone. And if you stack a couple of these next to each other, it's really going to slow down your opponent from catching up to you. Now, another great way to kind of protect yourself as well as give yourself an advantage is if you and another player meet at the ramps that are kind of just getting right to each other, as you can see here. What you can do when you're ramping up is place floors and cones. Now, what this will do is this again, as I've been saying a lot of times in this video, is it'll stop the other player from being able to ramp above you. Now, what this also allows you to edit through and being able to go up, easily protect yourself, and take high ground quite easily as the other player is either going to have to turn around or have to do some awkward quick 90, which at this point you'll already be through and going up. One of the best ways to use a cone offensively and leave your opponent helpless is once you do steal a wall from them inside of their turtle and they're just sitting on the ramp, what you can do is break the ramp and immediately place a cone. Now for the most part they'll just be behind the cone and this is all they can really do as if they go to edit out, they're going to easily get pumped and you kind of have full control over the situation as you can close the edit, take window peaks and do basically whatever you would like as they can't ramp out and any way they do try to leave, they're most likely going to get pumped pretty good. Another great way to use cones offensively is with cone jumps. Now again, the cone will stop your opponent from being able to ramp over you, as well as it doesn't really give them too many options to go off. But if you do decide to do a side jump like this, you're probably going to get punished pretty hard and going to get pumped. Now the cone is pretty nice and it allows you to be able to place things before you go above it. For example, you can place a wall, you can place a ramp. So there's a lot of protections that you can do. Personally, I like to place a wall and then I'll jump over and I'll place a floor before I begin to ramp up like this and then do a high ground retake. But the cone really allows you to choose what you'd like to do to protect yourself. But one thing I recommend is not getting used to doing a jump like this and then protecting yourself after you do the jump because for the most part, players are able to read this a lot more commonly now and you're going to get punished. Now, other than using cones for offensive and defensive maneuvers, you can easily use them to help you peek outside of your turtle, especially in scrims or even in games that you just want a little bit more info. Now, what helps is to make your floor as little as possible or even get rid of it. One thing you need to do then is make sure you edit the diagonal right here and then jump 
and you'll get up into this. Now this allows you to stand up or crouch, but you get a pretty good angle of everything going around you and you can kind of move around and see what's going on. And this is probably the most safest and one that I personally like to do as much as possible. And at this point, you can even place a floor under you and then you're easily up inside. But this is a little bit more riskier as if somebody does beam your cone, you kind of have to edit back down to get safety. And this I find is a little bit easier because you can just walk right back down. Another great way to use cones to help you get a better angle inside of a one by one is when you're shooting at opponents outside. Now, if you're just shooting through a window, you're a pretty easy target. However, if you jump behind of a cone, you can crouch and you can kind of get a much better and safer angle because your entire body or head won't be exposed the entire time you are shooting. And so this is a little bit more safer overall and will hopefully help you not get beamed from a bunch of different angles as this does close down who is able to take a shot at you compared to something like this. All right, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did. And again, if you have any suggestions for future videos, make sure to leave those down below. And I will see you guys all in the next one.